Here at Lyme Regis Museum, uh, we're looking at this fantastic model here. This is a, a model of a, a gun brig and it's called the Snap. And this is just an amazing model. We'd like to do some artwork based on this today. Um, it's one of many artifacts you can see that they've got here in the museum. And this ship itself was built in Lyme Regis in 1812, uh, which is the same year that Mary Anning found her very first ichthyosaur here. So that ties in quite nicely with the history. So we're going to have a go at making something to do with that today. Right, okay, so uh, I've got a little bit of reference material here. I've got a picture of the model. I've got another photograph of a very, very similar ship there. So we're going to do this just with a simple cardboard background and some tubes. You could use toilet roll tubes, kitchen roll tubes. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make the hull of the boat first. So I'm going to chop this up and then start to build the shape that I need. So we've got the hull and now I'm going to just mark out just really roughly where some of these larger masts are and we're going to use some bits of the leftover tube to build those so we need some nice long straight thin pieces so I'm not going to measure these I'm just going to chop them up. So each time we're using different shapes like this, rather than throwing these leftover bits away, I'm going to use them to start to build up the sea in the background. So if we take some of those shapes we've just had as off cuts, we can use them in the distance. Right, so the other part of the tube I've got here, I've chopped in half lengthways. We're going to use this to build the sails. So I'm going to use just some of these other little leftover bits. I'm going to try and cut some really small thin pieces that we can use to do a little bit of the rigging. So we'll have a go at that. So we've got all of these leftover bits which we're going to try and use to build up the sea, try not to waste anything. So we're going to use these to try and make this a little bit more 3D in the foreground.
So I'm gonna put an undercoat on this now, so I'm not gonna to worry too much about it. I'm just gonna grab some colors and just put them all over. So the undercoat has dried a little bit. It doesn't have to dry completely, but it's dried enough for us to do the next stages. So we've got some more colors. Gonna have a go at doing a little bit of detail on it now. So here we go. So I've watered down the white paint just a little bit, put a bit of water in there. I'm using a slightly smaller brush and I'm just going to splash some of this on so it looks a little bit more exciting. And that's it. Here's my version of the snap. I hope you like it and feel inspired to have a go at making your own. <laughs>